Hey YouTube, what's up? Ryan here from Terror Tech Entertainment here to show you how to resize your boot camp partition for Windows on OS X Lion. So what you're going to need to do first off, you're going to want to download something called WinClone. It's a free download. I'll have a link down in the description right here. And then you're going to want to open it up. You'll be prompted with this. Click agree. Then you're going to have to install something just real quick so download that install it open it up again and you'll get what looks like this so what you want to do you just want to click agree and by the way before you do any of this make sure you back up your important documents and everything that you want to keep like over here I have my important stuff in here it's not too much because I don't have a lot on Windows at the moment but that's pretty much it. So back up what you most, what you do not want to lose because this might not save everything. So use use this at your own risk. So all you want to do, go down here, click Agree. Then in here under Image, you want to click on your Boot Camp image, and then you're gonna want to go down here and click Image you get this I'm going to save it to the desktop and I'm going to call it win 7 so this will take a while and then you have to put in your password so as you can see right down here it is going to back everything up onto this one file right here it is not a hundred percent reliable so make sure that you back up your important documents and everything you don't want to lose alright so this will take a while so I will come back once this is done alright so now that it's done all it says right here completed successfully you can donate if you want but just click OK and over here in WinClone this is done alright so now what you're gonna want to do you can close out of WinClone now or just minimize it because you're gonna need it later and then what you want to do you want to go into your applications then utilities then you want to click on disk utility and you get this and click on your hard drive click over here on partition and where you can see the boot camp you want to click on that and you want to hit this minus sign this will delete your boot camp partition that is why you backed it up with this alright before you do anything with WinClone wait till the blue bar goes away so just make sure blue bar has gone before you do anything so then you want to just minimize Win Clone. And then here under Disk Utility, you want to click on your Boot Camp Partition and click the minus sign. So this will delete your Boot Camp Partition. And this is what you want. So click on Remove. And there it goes. And then what you're going to want to do, you want to make sure that you drag your Macintosh hard drive down into the empty space then click apply and then what you want to do just click on partition alright so now it is unmounting the disk it's updating it so once you get this blue bar that should speed it up pretty quick and it only took about a minute with those lines going across So you're going to want to make sure that you drag it down just to create or to put your hard drive, make it bigger pretty much. Alright, so once you're done with that, you're going to want to go ahead and go into Utilities and Boot Camp Assistant. Make sure that you have your Windows 7 disk with you. You're just going to need it in the computer to partition your drive. 
Then all you want to do is have install Windows 7 checked. Click continue. Choose how much you want. I'm going to go on 250. So if you're going to make it larger, you can just make it larger without having to worry. But if you're going to make it smaller, you're going to want to have it at least the size of this. So once you go get info, it is 46.62 gig. You're going to want it to be at least that size if you're going to shrink your hard drive. If you're going to make it larger, just make it larger. So once you got this done, you're going to want to click install and that should partition it and once your computer reboots hold the option key or alt depending on your keyboard until as as it's booting up so that you'll come up with these three little options windows mac and mac recovery you're going to want to boot back into your mac and i'll get you back from there so i'll see you in a minute Alright, so now that you are back into Windows, you're going to want to go in Applications and open up WinClone. Then click Agree, and under Restore, you want to select your image. And there it goes. So I'm going to click on the image, click OK, and then click Mount. Alright, once that's done, which it won't show anything, but just click on it. Then under destination, you want to click boot camp. And then what you want to do is click on restore. Put in your password. And then here we go. Now you get this thing going across the bottom here. And I will be back once this is done. And now you're done with your Windows disk. You do not need that anymore. So you can just eject it if you'd like. But I'll be back once this is done. And I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, just a quick checkup. It's been about 50 minutes and it's only here. So it is going to take a while. So you gotta have time and patience. Alright, so it has been probably an hour and a half, two hours around there. So it does take a while. Um, so once you're done, Click OK, and and you wait a little bit. All right, so now Wind Clone is done, and you are complete. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please post a comment down below. And if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.